Okay? Exercise, brother. Mayes. Huh? Specify. Okay? Fail Falasi means fail Rubai Fimayali. Now, in this group, both are there. Now, you describe, brother. Differentiate. Ready? Sister Hafza, Hafiza. Is it Sulasi or Rubai? Sulasi. Sister uh, Abir, Sulasi. Nama is Sulasi. Sister Sukhaina Tarajama, Rubai. Huh? Sister uh, Naima Haraja, Sulasi. Three letters. Huh? Sister Fatima, Harwala, Harwala, Rubai. Four letters. Huh? Sister Sumaya, Baathara, Rubai. You can see that. Huh? Sister uh, Maria, Da'a, Thulasi. Uh, there are three letters, okay? Mayiz, Fel Thulasi, Mujarid, Min Fel Thulasi, Mazid Fima Yati. Now Mazid comes, okay? In the first, they were original. Now they are increased. Uh, there are four letters, but they are three plus one added, okay? Or two added, huh? But then, sister, where are we now? Sister Aisha, Saddaka, Mazid Fihi, Kara'a, Sister Maimuna, Sulasi, huh? Sister uh, uh, Nasreen, Fataha, Sulasi, Aslama, Mazid, huh? uh, Nusrat, Takabbala, Mazid. Can you see five letters? Huh? Takabbala. Sister, uh, uh, Nadina Samia Sulasi. Sister Rahima is Takabala Mazid. Sister Gulshan Kava Sulasi, mashallah. And Brother Abdul Samad Wakafa Sulasi. Brother Hadrali uh, Ishtara Mazid. So, Brother, it's inshallah something we have studied little bit. And it will help us and make things very easy for. What did I say? Not easy. Very easy. And inshallah. Half jalebi. <laughs> yes. That's it. Now there is a further explanation. Min abwabil fail thalasi mazid bab fa'ala zida fihi harfun Wahid. Increase in it is Harfun Wahid. Brother, what is Harfun? Naif file. What is it? Naif file for Zida. And Wahidun is the Naat. Wahuwa al Ainu Mukarraratu. What is Mukarraratu? Brothers and sisters, repeated. Huh? Give me the word. Karrara. Huh? What is this mukarrara? It's a mafool. Mashallah. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Huh? Repeated. Doubled. Huh? Fa'ala. And then fa'ala. Okay. Karrara. To repeat. Now, brothers and sisters, here I have made a little chart. Huh? You see, the city authority has given you permission to build a house with three rooms only. Uh, you cannot make four rooms. <coughs> this is it. You cannot extend the house. So now you make a small room inside one room and make it into the fourth room. So you have here now a small room and you put Ain there. Are you with me? Huh? The, in the same space you put another room. And it is brother with sukun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is your fa a la. Huh? Ain is repeated. Huh? And it became, brothers and sisters, it will result in idgham. What will it result, brother? Idgham. So it will become Fa, a, la. Got the idea, brother and sister? 
Inshallah, you remember. It's very easy. Yeah? Now we have a rule. If the verb is four letter, then alamatu mudaria gets a dhamma. Hmm? No more fata. When it is five letters, it will become fata again. But any times, if there are four letters, the alamatu mudaria will have a dhamma, inshallah. Fine. Okay. Now, already we have been given here some, brothers and sisters. Tamil amsilata la atiyata li baafal thum akdum mudariya wa amar wal mastar min afwal alati. Okay? Taliha, which follows, brother. Sallama. You sallimu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? We have done it. I'm doing it again to, to make you revise everything. Sallama. You sallimu. Okay? What is the Amar? Salim. So if you do, you know, chop here, uh, you salimu, uh, Brother Hassan, only one chop and sukun here. Do I need something extra? No, I can pronounce it. Uh, I do not need Hamza Amar. Hamza Amar is brought only when we are left with sukun in the beginning and we cannot pronounce sukun so we bring the hamza so this will become salim are you with me brothers and sisters master taslim okay. now I have one more request to you brother that this we will call form 2 but you can also say Baab Tafail and try to say Baab Tafail. You know, Baab uh, Tafail. Now, Tafail is the wazan, the pattern of the master. Huh? You will say Baab Tafail. Okay? Okay. Now, why, why do I insist on this, brother? Baab Tafail. Because this pattern will then become part of your mind, you know. And every time you'll see this pattern, you know, in a fraction of a second, you know this is the master from Form 2. Huh? Very important. Okay. This you won't find in the... Uh, Grammar books written in English language. You won't find this. But this is there. If you look into the books from India, Pakistan, written in Urdu, you will find this. But I thought this was a very good idea. Form 2 or Bab Tafail. Huh? Will not be a burden on you. Trust me. It will just make you perfect and strong, inshallah. Kabbala you kabbilu. Kabbil takbil. Hmm? Okay, brothers and sisters. Sabbaha you sabbihu sabbih tasbih. These are very easy, brothers and sisters. But what is the meaning of sallama? Now, if you say sallama ala, it means to greet. Sallama lahu, to give. Remember, we have studied it. Kabbala is to kiss. Huh? Sabbaha. What is the meaning of sabbaha? The actual meaning of sabbaha is to keep something afloat. Huh? And inshallah we'll discuss this. Huh? We'll discuss this. Huh? Sabbaha is you float. Huh? You swim. Huh? Sabbaha means he swim. Or he keeps himself afloat. But when you say sabbaha means you are keeping something afloat. And then when you use this as a glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, means you are keeping Allah's name above everything. Are you with me? Brother, there is such a, such a deep meaning to this, you know. 
Sabbaha means you are keeping Allah's name. You see, Allah is above everything. He's, he's not similar to anything in the universe. Huh? He created everything, but there is nothing like him in the universe. Huh? And over uh, since the creation, mankind has taken his name and brought it on the earth. You know, that he's like a human being. You know, or they make statues and call them gods. So, you know, you have brought his name down. And when you say Sabbaha, then you are keeping his name up and above. From above and up from everything that is imperfect. And everything which is blemish. Huh? That is the actual meaning of it. You know, you are keeping it afloat, higher, where he belongs. Are you with me? So, what is the general meaning of sabbaha? To glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But how do you glorify? By keeping his name higher and higher. And not mixing with the things on this uh, human level. Brother. We don't mix him on the human level. You know, He's above that. You know, High and above from any imperfections. Huh? If you say he uh, you know, has become a human being, then it means he needs food now. Huh? He needs water. He needs sleep. No, 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 no. no. Allah doesn't need sleep. Allah doesn't need water. Allah doesn't need anything, brother and sister. He's above all these things. That is why you'll always read in the Quran, you sabbihu lahu ma fis samawati balad. Subhanallahi amma yushrikuna. Huh? Allah is far and above from what the people associate with him. Are you with me? Subhanallahi amma yushrikuna. He's far and above from the, what people ascribe to him. Now let me give you a little hint, brothers and sisters. Sabbaha. This is Mahdi. And, in, huh? and you will see that in the Quran, it comes in the Mudariya. What is that Mudariya? Yusab B. Hu. And you will also see in the Quran, Amar. Sabbi. All the time. Huh? Okay. Sabbi with Sukun. And what is the Master? Tasbi. Huh? See, Tasbi. Huh? Okay, Tasbi. And what is the meaning of tasbih? Glorification. Eh? Means you glorify. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. When you take your tasbih. Subhanallah. Okay. Tasbih. Now, brother and sister, sister, sister uh, Maimuna, you know mafulun mutlaq. Little bit. That mafulun mutlaq is the master. Of the verb that comes in the sentence. Huh? Shukran. Ana ashkuruka shukran. Are you with me? Huh? Fahimtu darsa fahman jayidan. Huh? Huh? That is how we use it. So then what is the master which is used for mafulun mutla? Is it tasbi? No. What is it used? When you say subhana, what is subhana, brothers and sisters? Masdar. It is master, but it is used as mafaulun mutlak. What is subhana? Mafaulun mutlak. Huh? It has a greater meaning. You cannot translate, brothers and sisters. Huh? So, 
Subhanallah. When you say, are you with me? When you say, Subhanallah. Rather than Subhana is mafulun mutlaq. So where is the fail and file? Usabbihu subhanallah. So what is usabbihu? I glorify Allah. So when you say subhana, huh? and brothers and sisters, remember, mafulun mutlaq is mansub. Huh? So I must make this mansub. Huh? So I say, Subhanallah. What is Subhana? Maf'ulun mutlaq. And it is a master. Instead of this, this master is used. And when we study Maf'ulun mutlaq in greater detail, we will understand why and how. But the verb is this, brother. What is the verb? Usabbihu. I mean, I keep his name high and above. From what people are associating with him. That is the meaning of subhanallah. Usabbihu subhanallah. Are you with me? Now nobody will know unless you study the language. Huh? Are you with me? Sabbaha. Huh? So sabbaha, you sabbihu, and you can say usabbihu, or you can even say nusabbihu. Huh? And then, Subhanallah is your mafulun mutlaq. Just like when you say shukran, sabran, afwan, like that. Huh? Okay, now, only there are two verbs on the pattern of this. Maybe more, but I recall two, brother. Huh? Subhanallah, I explained you, huh? which is coming from sabbah. It it goes back to sabbaha. Sabbaha subhana. Are you with me? Now, brother, I tell you one more thing. Samiana watana. What is gufara naka? What is gufara naka? Igifir. Forgive us. Gufranaka. It is your. What is Gufranaka? Mafulun Mutlakun. And where is the verb? Igfir. Forgive. So when you say Gufranaka, the meaning is forgive us. Are you with me? So see, Gufra. Do you see Gufrana? So it's a Sukhaina. What is na? Mansu. Why it is Mansu? Mafulun Mutla. Okay. Inshallah, we are going to study all these things in detail. I just thought, I, I, I give you a little taste here and there. Inshallah. You, you know, you, can, you always glorify with his praise. Bihamdihi. Yeah. This is the usabbihu, I. Yeah. When you say subhanallah means I am glorifying Allah or we are glorifying Allah. Bihamdihi. Yeah. Are you with me brothers and sisters? So when you say subhanallah means I am glorifying Allah. And you will always see in the Quran brothers and sisters. Subhanallah amma yasifuna. Yeah. Or subhanallah amma yushrikuna. Allah is far and above uh, to all these people who scribe partners and other things with him. You know? Yes, Are you with me? Inshallah, we'll study more. Huh? Okay. Well, I thought this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, and it requires, brother, thinking and pondering. Huh? Inshallah. Fine, brother. Kabbara. What is the meaning of Kabbara, Sister Abir? To say Allahu Akbar. Uh, kabbara means uh, to enlarge. Actually, Kabbara means to enlarge 
huh? or magnify. So how do you magnify Allah? By saying Allahu Akbar. So kabbara, okay, tell me what is the master of kabbara? Takbir. <laughs> what is takbir? Allahu Akbar. Are you with me? <laughs> See, more and more things will become clearer to you. And it will amaze you. It will amaze you. Takbir. When you say takbir, brother, what is takbir? Master from kabbara. You kabbir. Alhamdulillah. Allama. You allim. Hmm? Allim. Ta'alim. Ta'alimul Islam. <laughs> we are here in the Ta'alimul Islam community center. Waddaha. What is waddaha, brothers and sisters? Huh? Waddaha means to clarify. Huh? To, to explain. Huh? And what, now you got to write all these things, brothers and sisters. I know there is so much homework for you. A huh? lot of homework. Do as much as you. Huh? Brother, at least you will do a little bit. Huh? Do not come as a Kora Kagas. <laughs> okay? Do something as much as you can. And do not make yourself feel guilty, huh, brother? Because you have so much responsibility. So don't put a guilt on yourself, you know, that I, I you know, I'm no good or I, I can't do it. No, you can do it. And you are good. Okay? But do as much as you can, inshallah. Wazza'a, to distribute. Huh? What is wazza'a? To distribute. Huh? Inshallah. Sajjala, to register, to record, to inscribe. Brother. Another nice verb, hanna'a, to congratulate. Huh? Now here the changes come. Brother and sister, hanna'a, you hanni'u, hanni'a. How will you write Hanni? Hanni. Now this is your kursi for Hamza. Huh? This is kursi for Hamza. Now something else, brothers and sisters. We are doing Bab Tafail. But if the verb ends with a Hamza. Uh, yes. Uh, or with a, if it is a nakis verb, or it is mahmuzul lam, what did I say? Mahmuzul lam. <coughs> and if they are in form two, bab tafil, then this change, this will change into taf, taf i la tun. So, brother and sister, Hanna'a will become Tahniatun. What will it become? Tahniatun. Tahniatun. This is again because of the Tasra here. Huh? Sister uh, Sumaya. Hamza got a kursi of Ya. This is Ya without two dots. Huh? This is a kursi of Ya. Why? Did Ramza get a kursi? Because before it, there is a kasra. These are small, small rules, inshallah. You'll remember. Huh? Okay. No, brother. Samma. To name or call. You sammi. Amar will be sammi. Huh? Without, without, sammi. Without, yeah. How will you describe? Fellow Amrin, Mabniun Allah, Hazafi, Harfi, Illa. Got the idea, inshallah? Very good. Hayya. What is the meaning of Hayya? To greet or to salute. Huh? Now, here, brothers and sisters, further changes take place. Huh? So, if it is Hayya, huh? How many yas are there now? Three yas are there. Huh? So if I have to make it on the pattern of, huh? I have to make on the pattern of tafailatun. 
Huh, but then, how will I make it? Tach. What will I do, brother? Tach. Then, G. And then, Ya. And then, Tun. Are you with me? Tach, G, Ya, Tun. Huh? On the pattern of Tach, I, La, Tun. Tach. And then ye, ya, tum. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sisters? Fine. Now, again, you know the things that we did in the mudaf verb will take place here. What will take place now, brothers and sisters? That this kasra will come here. Hmm? And this sukun will come here. Now, you see, there are two yas. We can make an idgham. One with a sukun, one with a vowel sign. So what will be the result, brother? Tahiyyatun. Masha'Allah. Tahiyyatun. But remember how did Tahiyyatun came into being? It was originally Tahiyyatun. Remember the pattern, brother. Tafa'ilatun. When will you use this pattern? If the verb is nakis. Huh? Normal is tafailun. And this becomes tafailatun. When will you use it? When the verb is nakis or mahmuzul lam. When at the end hamza comes. Like hanna. Can you see hanna? Hamza is at the end. So mahmuz lam. Okay? Inshallah, you remember, brother. Yes, atahiyatu is is plural, brother. What is it? Tahiyatun, tahiyatun. Make it now into jama. Tahiyatun. Put alif lam there. Make it definite. Make it definite now. See, what did you do? You put alif lam there. Are you with me? Huh? So, atahiyatun is the plural of tahiyatun. Are you with me? Ji? Yeah. Atahiyatu means atahiyatu lillahi wa salawatu. All my prayers, my salutations, uh, everything is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But inshallah, soon we will also analyze our salah. And then we will understand it better, inshallah. Huh? Brother and sister, Rabba, <coughs> your Rabbi. Are you with me? Rabba, your Rabbi. Amar will be Rabbi. What will be the? What will be Amar? Rabbi. And what will be Master? Tarbiyatun. Tarbiyatun. Okay. You got the idea, brother and sisters? Ji? Rabba, uh, Rabba is to raise somebody, to look after somebody, to provide everything uh, for the need of a person. Remember? Okay? And then, uh, Tarbiyatun means education, uh, bringing up, upbringing. Huh? Upbringing, raising. Okay? Remember we did the dua? Rabbirham huma kama rabbayani sahira. So rabbayani is from here. Rabba rabbaya. Huh? To bring up. Huh? Oh Allah, oh my Lord, have mercy on my parents. Huh? The way they mercifully brought me up when I was young. You know? Show thy mercy to them as they were merciful to me in my childhood. And who can replace the mercy of a mother to the child? Nobody. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's the mercy of mother comes next, brother and sister. She is most merciful to the child than anybody else in the world. A mother is most merciful to the child than anybody else in the world, brother and sister. So that's why we pray, you know. Inshallah, you'll remember this prayer. 
Memorize it and say it every day. Rabbirham huma kama rabbayani sagira. And now when you say it, brother, you understand every word of it. And it creates a special feeling for you. Because you remember your parents and their kindness to you. They are being merciful to you. Inshallah. Mastaru babi fa'ala min fi'al al-nakis wal mahmuz al-lami ala wazni tafailatun. That inshallah you understand. Okay. Normal is tafailun, but if it is nakis or mahmuz al-lami, then it is tafailatun. Now I come to the next one, brother. Arafta fi darsin sabikin an nasma fa'il min fi'al sulasi mujrad ala wazni fa'il. Okay. Wa alam and know now an nasma fa'il min fi'al ghair sulasi mujrad yakunu bi lafzil mudariyati bi ibadali harfil mudariyati miman madmumatan. What is the meaning of this, brother? That the harf of mudariya is change. Eh? Ibadal. What is the meaning of bi ibadali? By changing it. By changing it. Eh? Harf of mudariya is change with what? Meem. But what kind of a meme? Madhumatan. What is the meaning of madhumatan? Having dhamma. Eh? That's all, brother. That's all it is, you know. Lavzi mudari. What is lavzi mudari, brother? What are they? Ya ta a na. Are you with me? Okay. And in this case, it is you, tu, u, nu. Fine. They are changed into mu. That's all. Wa kasir ma kabla akhir. And kasir ma kabla akhir. A letter before last letter, you give a kasra. Are you with me, brother and sisters? And to be very, you know, if you observe it properly, if you observe it properly, you will realize that what you are giving kasra is a ain kalima. It is a ain kalima. Right. Okay. Fine example, brother. You allimu will become muallim. Alhamdulillah, we know it, brother. Fine. Hati asmal fa'ilina. Okay, brother. Make the ism file from these nouns. Azana. You azinu, muazinu. Okay. Darrasa. You darrisu, mudarris. You know mudarris. Sajjala. You sajilu, musajil. And savara. You savviru, musavvir. Just for the fun of it. Make master. Tasveer banata hoon. Tasveer nahi banti. Tasveer nahi banti. So this tasveer comes from Savara Yusavir. You know all these things. You have heard these things. But you never knew the connection. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Savara. You photograph something. Huh? Okay. In the, you mold something also. Huh? Allah is called Musavvir. Huh? Okay. Okay. But in the modern day, it will become photographer. Musavvir is a photographer. Haddasa. Huh? You haddis. Huh? And then muhaddis. Dakhana. You dakhinu. Mudakhin. Inshallah. Okay. Now we come to Isam Maf'ul, brothers and sisters. Arafta fi darsi sabik an nasmal maf'uli min al fail thulasi mujarrat ala wazni maf'ulun. That was the pattern. Wa alam alan. No now, brothers and sisters. An isam maf'ul min fail ghairi thulasi mujarrat. Yakun wala wazni isam fa'il. It will be on the wazan of isam fa'il. Ma fathi. Ma kabla al-akhir. So same thing. You will now give 
a letter before last, Fatah. And what will that letter be, brothers and sisters? Ain Kalima. Are you with me? Inshallah. You will remember it? Okay, brother. You sajjil. Make it some file. Go sajjil. Make it some maful. Now, come on. Give me a break. This is very easy. Huh? So, so easy. Huh? So much easier than what we did in Fel Sulasi. Makes a lot of uh, things uh, straightforward, brother and sister. So, Fel Sulasi Mazid, you know, they are very easy to understand and very easy to conjugate. Huh? All of these things, inshallah. But that quickly we do now here. I'll only finish this, uh, uh, finish this page, uh, inshallah. Uh. Brother, you have to make ism file and ism maful from the verb. Sajjala, yusajjilu, musajjil, and then musajjal. Uh, okay. Allafa, yuallifu, muallif, muallaf. Uh. Muallif is the writer. What is mu'allaf? A thing which is written. Huh? Like a book. Huh? Rattaba, yurattibu, murattib, and murattab. Inshallah. Sallaha, yusallihu, musallih, musallah. Huh? Okay. Allaka, yuallikhu, muallik, and muallak. Yeah, inshallah. Jallada, yujallidu. Mujallidu, Mujallad. Mujallid is the binder. And Mujallad is a thing bound. Huh? Okay. Lawana. Yulawvinu. Mulawvin and Mulawwan. Polluted. Huh? Hamada. Yuhammidu. Muhammad is the one who is praising something a lot. Muhammad. One who is praised a lot. Huh? Who is praised a lot. Huh? Alhamdulillah. You got the idea, brother and sister? You will do it, inshallah, at home. Write it. Arafta fi darsi sabiq. An asma is the mani. Wal makani. Yushtaqani. Min fiel sulasi mudit ala wazani. Maf alin. Wa maf ilan. We have studied this, brother. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Like... Uh, Ismu Makan, wa Ismu Zaman, for example, brother, Sajada, Yas Chudu, and what is Masjid? Ismu Makan. Huh? Are you with me? Wakafa huh? Yakifu, Maukif. This is the place, Ismu Makan. But when it comes to Fel, Sulasi, Mujarat, Mazid Fihi, they are on the pattern of Ismu Maf'ul. It's very easy. Okay? وَعَلِمِ الْآنَ أَنَّهُمَا يُشْتَقَّانِ مِنْ غَيْرِ سُلَاسِ الْمُجَرِدْ عَلَى وَزْنِ إِسْمُ الْمَفْعُولِهِ Are you with me? نَحْوَ سَلَّى يُسَلِّي مُسَلَّى What will be some file? مُسَلِّن مُسَلْ Lin, are you with me? Nakis, huh? Musallin, the one who prays. Huh? Uh, what will be then Ism Maful? Musalla. But then Ism Maful is the Ism Makan, where you pray. Are you with me? So then Ism Zaman and Ism Makan from Fail, Sulasi, Mujarad, Mazid Fihi is made on the Wazan of Ism Maful. That's all. Very easy, brother. Brother Muhammad, did you get it? Huh? See, Ismu Zaman and Ismu Makan in Fail Sulasi Mujarat, Mazid Fihi huh, is built on the pattern of Ism Maf'ul. Huh? Ism Maf'ul. Huh? So in this case, brother, Salah, Yusalli, and Ism File, Musallin, and Ismul Maful is Musalla. Now, what is Musalla? It is Ismu Makan. What is it? Ismu Makan. Huh? 
So it is on the pattern of ism maf'ul. Got the idea? Inshallah. Huh? I hope you will remember this, brothers and sisters. Now, we cannot go any more further. This is what I wanted to do before we start the next lesson. We have already done quite a bit of it. So tomorrow when we start, I think we will finish this lesson before tea break. Huh? And then we'll carry on with the next lesson. Huh? It's very easy. And I'm quite confident, brothers and sisters, are you listening? I'm very confident that if you were to read the main lesson on your own, you will understand. You will understand every bit of it. But when you read the main lesson, what will you be looking for? Madi, Mudarya, Ammar, Master, Isam File, Isam Bakant from Bab Tafail, from Form 2. Look for it. And you will find that you are understanding a lot, inshallah. Huh? So we will, inshallah, carry on tomorrow with the main lesson and finish it. Huh? And then go to the next one, inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatau wa fil akhirati hasanatau wa kina azab al-nar. Rabbana takabbal minna inna ka anta samiyul alim wa tubu alayna inna ka anta tababu rahim. سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين